All right, I am back. I had a wonderful Bible study. And so now I'm back. I had to try to eat something real quick. Say excuse my smacking right now. I am back. Let me get something to drink. And I think I'm ready to talk for a few minutes about this recent drop on Dooney.com, which features the Plumes collection. I hope that you all are fully aware of this collection by now. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. It just, uh, it just speaks to me because it's so colorful and so fun to me. It really is. I saw in a comment, um, someone compared this to, oh my goodness, what's the Vera Bradley? Um, I had to think on that. Like, does Vera, I know Vera Bradley's items, excuse me, y'all, they do have these, I guess, whimsical patterns, of course. Um, but I don't know if I would, and I said I need to look at it again, and I'm pulling it up right now to see how these patterns look, if I indeed would compare it to Vera Bradley's items. Um, I am currently on their website, and I just want to show this, because this is my first time on the Vera Bradley's website. So I'm going to stop sharing this screen and share um, that one. Hey, honey girl, thanks for stopping in on this impromptu, kind of impromptu, because I did let you all know that I was going to be coming on after eight o'clock or preferably 8.30. But I do want to see if this one, if the recent designs um, or the design in the plumes collection could be or could possibly mimic Vera Bradley. Let's check that out. Maybe, maybe with the Flamingo Garden, but it doesn't have any animal depictions in it. Okay, maybe you could get that from the Paisley print here, but it's not colorful or hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, but to each his own on that one. I don't think it does, but I'm not a huge Vera Bradley, even though I do have um, two items that I can recall in my possession that are from the Vera Bradley um, brand. Uh, I just can't see it, but I do want to see it. <laughs> All right. So I do want to go into this particular collection. I have not visited QVC to see if they've dropped anything on there, but Right now, let's see, we have nine items, nine silhouettes, and I think this is just beautiful. This black, this whole black situation going on here is truly an eye catcher, truly is, and I really wish I could make this screen a whole lot bigger. I think I'm going to do that right now, uh-oh, and try to zoom in. I think I just messed something up when I tried that. Let me see if I double click. I'm going to stop sharing and try this again, y'all, because um, I did something with. Uh oh, I did something that I shouldn't have done. And now I can't get back to where I need to be, y'all. Hold on a second. Let me try to fix this. If I may, if I might. Ah, uh, I don't know what I did, y'all. I have clicked something too quick, too fast, and I can't see anything other than my screen is being taken over, which is a good thing to be taken over by Dooney at this point. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I did jack something up, it looks to be. Let me see if that's... Okay, I figured it out, y'all. I got kind of kind of nervous like oh wow what did I do uh but let's go back into this collection real quick uh because I was attempting to try to make the picture bigger and no I'm not gonna even worry about it 
Um, this is the black background. And I like to say that they are describing this as the marbled print. So it's almost like when you look at tie-dye, depending on how you do the tie-dye and how it comes out, it can be in a certain pattern, but they're using this um, this whole marbleized, or not marbleized, but this whole marble approach to that. Um, I know that for me, looking at how they do nails or when I would get designs on my nails and I may ask for the marble, they will put all the ink in the water that floats on top and then you will dip your finger in and whatever design comes out, comes out. And I think that this, this is what this is alluding to. And so we do have this wonderful crossbody. This one right here is not, maybe it's this one. And it looks like each bag is going to have its own special kick because not too, not any of the designs probably will be the same. And so that's another feature that we love with Dooney. At least I can say I do love with Dooney. I love this color bag here, though. I love all of the colors. And I do love this one. This is just, they give it, they gives me that Kelly green, maybe another, maybe emerald greenish um, background to it, but it states that it's pink. Um, so I'm loving this. I'm loving this. But my favorite... I think out of all of the silhouettes, maybe two silhouettes that I'm loving. Of course, the drawstring, hands down. And I'm just waiting for them to drop the other colors. Um, because as of last night when it dropped, they only had this one shown. And later on this morning or earlier today, they dropped the brown. So you do have that brown uh, trim throughout that and the brown background which is really cool when we're talking about all of these colors oh it's just beautiful love the buckle strap that it, it comes with um i'm loving it loving it loving it it is currently on pre-order both of these bags and i think most of these bags let me go back to the uh suki um I think all of these bags are pre-order, y'all. And we talked about that earlier. Um, that's something to have to deal with. But they really want to see how much of a demand that it is that you all really like this collection, too, for it to really be in heavy rotation. Um, so we do have this particular silhouette that I do have. It has been reproduced with, within the Plumes collection. And so you do have three color options here for that particular satchel. Um, I think you should go for it. Of course, the tote. Now, this tote is bigger. And I didn't even think about it. This is the bigger tote because you can look at the strap uh, drop on it, 10 inches, height of nine and a half with the five and a half and 11.75 in length. This is my ideal tote. I think... I want it in all of the colors, like seriously, especially this one. Oh, this pink color. I mean, I don't, I don't know how they derive that as pink. Yeah, it has pink in it, but it's like the yellow sticks sticks out more to me. It really does. But hey, if you call it pink, I'm not gonna argue with you. Just like this one, I probably would have called this one the pink one because I see that more just popping out. But because of the trim being brown, I love this tote a lot. Every color pre-order. Um, I love the black option. Like, oh, that is so dope to me. I really, truly love this. Um, so that tote is really popping for me. The barrel satchel. They got to release it in the other colors. Just got to happen. Love it, love it, love it. And I want you all to be aware that these colors are here or the silhouettes are here, they will definitely, not definitely, but they could. They have a high potential of just popping off. So what you see today may not be what you see tomorrow or, e or even next week. I don't know the reason for that. I would love to know why that happens. It may be because, hey, we only have five made and the five are in pre-order. So we go ahead and take it off, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to bring it back. Um, the small hobo has really been um, hot over the last 
two years, I believe, this particular silhouette. Hopefully, they'll come out with some more colors with that. Um, but I do love that that particular hobo. I don't own any of these, this size hobo, the, the larger size or the small, but I really like the design of it. I like how they did the, the side um, piping and just really made that shape to look a little bit different. Um, instead of just putting those, um, those uh, bumpers on there, it's like the material kind of created, they created a bumper with that, the same material. So I like how they did that design. Uh, another one that has been brought back is the hobo sack. This hobo sack, um, to me, it's a little bit challenging. Let me see if it's going to pop up. Hmm. It's a little bit challenging because the hobo sacks that I'm accustomed to, they kind of cinch in the middle um, because I guess primarily I've looked at them in the, the ostrich or the pebble grain or even Florentine. And so to see this particular coated cotton in the hobo sack, for me, it's kind of challenging because I do want it to loosen up and not appear so stiff, such as in the pictures. But who knows? It may not look like that. It may be a little bit loose. I think this is what you're going to get because if you look at like how these bumpers are at the top, there's not a lot of room for it to just kind of just like I said, cinch in the middle. Um, however, I do like the overall design of it. I think it's, it's good. It's a nice big bag, 11 inches, 11.75 inches as far as the height of it. The width is four and a half. Then they put, that should have been length. They put the height again of 11. So I wonder if that's a true number here for the length but hopefully they'll catch that and readjust it because that's i don't know if it's really going to be the length it could be kind of looks like it but i don't know if that's going to be accurate um but i do like that and it's on pre-order as well hopefully the other colors will come on out i like the fact that with this particular drop this collection drop they did have another option outside of the typical zip around wallet so you do have the small flap that just really um goes well with the particular design uh so if you know if you love the small flap hey it works for this one of course i would love to see it in a large frame kiss lock i really would i love this color this is so springy it's so springy oh wow oh i think if i had to get one right now it probably would be that particular color that they call pink and of course, they have the large zip around wristlet. Um, <clears throat> let's see, the black one is like black, black with the design on it. Love it. Oh, this one is beautiful. All right. All right. So, with this one, you have the black that's in this design as well. And then, of course, the pink. I just love that blue and that green coming together. I was watching Suz What and she she talked about how she liked to pair her well the two items that she had. Um, her SLG, she had a green small corn case, coin case, and then she had a zip around. No, she had a zip, a, a medium wristlet, I believe it was. Anywho, she said she liked to pair blue and green together. Here it is. I think this would be a wonderful option for Suds. I mean, it just combines that color with a couple of other accent colors in it as well. I love this collection. I hope you all do as well. Hey, Emerald Green, I'm coming back to the um, the chat right now. Hello, Honey Girl says such beautiful colors. I mean, they really are. And it just speaks springtime. Yes, I like the spring color too. I mean, it just does that for me. Um, and I didn't think about it before this the particular live, but earlier, um, or not earlier, but one of my drawstring bags, which was the Chevron in this multicolor, is springy. It's very springtime uh, pastel colors or some bold colors mixed in with that. It just works out pretty good. And I would wear that bag all year round. I would wear all of these colors all year round. I don't discriminate when it comes down to the colors. 
So which one is your favorite silhouette? Even if it's a silhouette that, yeah, I like it, but I like it even more in this collection. Or is it that, yeah, it's my favorite, but whew, I saw something else and I'm really digging it. I love all of them. I, I really wish I could have all nine items. Um, you know, if you don't speak it into existence, <laughs> you know. Um, but I do want to go into some of the other um, the other collection that is out, which I don't know where they have put this. I usually just search for it. And that would be, before I do that, I, I just, I really do wish they had added some more to the Art Deco collection, but probably not. Um, there's still the eight items with the exception, with the, yeah, the exception of the barrel. Because the barrel was supposed to round that out to be nine items as well. But I like how they did not release all of the same silhouettes in this new collection so i like how you have a variety you're not gonna have the zip satchel zip zip satchel over there um right now um but that's who's to say that they won't now i've been talking about this collection since it dropped and i really like it but i probably like it just to look at it hopefully i'll go ahead and purchase something soon but that's the pickleball collection and so it dropped a few months ago, probably around the end of January or February. And as if I got my times corrected and the bag, the sling was just there for the longest has yet to go on sale. I could be really wrong on that. However, we do finally have the paddle because when I saw this, I was just like, oh, that's a pretty good price. You get the bag and the paddle. That's what I thought. And then as I continue to read down, it just said it was the racket holder. Didn't say that the racket was included in this. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been pretty cool. And so I don't know if that was always the plan. But now you have a paddle and they have two sizes. I was like, well, what's the difference between the two sizes? I had to read on down here. They're saying that the four millimeter um, is a thinner core and more power. So if you like to hit that ball and you just, whew, you get with it, this is probably the size you would want to get. It's the 14 millimeter. The one that we're looking at is the 16 millimeter, which is a thicker core and more control with it. So I guess you just won't be like, you know, slapping the ball or whatever it's called. I'll have to figure out what that is. And I wonder if they're going to have some of those, the balls. I don't, I wonder, that would be pretty cool to add that to this as well. But it does come, the, the paddle comes in three colors that you see here. Um, it's just beautiful. I really want my hand on one of these. Um, and as stated, you have the 16 millimeter and you have the 14. And you could definitely see the difference. And they added another color for you all, color option. So we got Mother's Day coming up and Father's Day. Everybody is out here playing pickleball. Let them know that, hey, Dooney and Burke has something that's stylish for you to have as you go to these courts and play. I mean, it's there. They have it. Um, I just love it, love it, love it. Uh, let me go back to the chat real quick. All right. Okay, so honey girl, you like the draw the drawstring in the barrel? Yes. And Emerald Gold loves the hobo and the speedy as well. I love those. I love, I think we got a consensus right now about this whole barrel thing, though. That barrel bag is just to die for to me, in my opinion. And I think for you all as well. The last thing that I wanted to do as we're talking about the pickleball collection, um, what does that look like? Because beforehand, I think before last night, I actually hadn't gone to look to see um, what that, that entails. What does that look like? I feel like something was crawling on me, y'all. Y'all need to tell me because I hope not. <laughs> um, I think it's these earrings. Y'all hold on a second. Let me work out something because I really feel like something's crawling on me. And if you hear me scream, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm human. <laughs> 
I am human. I think it's these earrings that kind of irritate. Or maybe it is an ant. Yes, it's a huge ant. I'm going to show you. Oh, no, I just moved it. I had it on something. Come back and climb on that. There we go. Now, I'll... Yeah, I have an ant. If I was still on camera, it's playing on this bottle. I'm playing with it right now, y'all. I know I felt something. A huge ant, black ant. It's moved. I hadn't killed it. I'm going to try to put it on back outside while it's still... Not nah, sorry. You shouldn't have came in here. <laughs> but I knew I felt something like, uh-uh. I'm really in tune with, <laughs> with myself. So I was like, mm-mm, that's more than the earring. All right. So with looking at the pickleball collection, what does that look like specifically? Because I really don't know what pickleball paddles look like, their bags. And I may have seen this from a distance that people um, are carrying these bags. So I just want to show that real quick because I don't know if you all have ever looked as well. I'm not a pickleball player, but who knows? I might just try to take that up this year. I think it will be fun to do. I don't I don't really know if I have the rules in place. But yeah, so these are like some of the paddles in the bags. And Dooney is not done yet. They're not done yet. They have two other items that they will be releasing. So to see what's out there, um, this is how the paddles. And, hey, that's pretty cool. Dooney kind of kept it basic. Look at this. Uh, all this whimsical thing. I wonder if they're going to release these. Little... Put the Dooney on there as well. But they didn't put Dooney on the, the paddle, which was kind of odd. I was looking for it to be that. So there may be some type of collaboration with that particular company. And then you just have the people out playing the pickleball. and But that's pretty much what it looks like, how the people are handling it. and uh, But I really wanted to see more so um, their bags. All right. I'm happy that if you put this in here, pickleball bags, Dooney and Burke comes up first great and all the colors are coming up but you also have some other brands marley lily that makes it even more personalized put your initials in there i think that's a good competition with um dooney and burke in regard to just the style of it because it is typically a sling um they will be releasing a tote and a duffel in this as well so be on the lookout for that. I don't know if it's going to really, what it's going to look like. Could it possibly look like this particular duffel, which would mimic the canvas collection? Uh, what would the, the design be? Hmm. I am intrigued to know because even with the duffel for this one, the racket um, holder is attached to that. So that'll be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I just want you all to see as I am looking at this for the first time, what these bags look like. Pickleball, I don't know, pickleball has been around for a while from what I gathered uh, some time ago. However, I think during the pandemic, people needed something else different to do. And one person picked it up and then the whole nation picked it up. <laughs> um, a lot of people are doing this and it's great exercise. It's great uh camaraderie can't get my words out um and it's just a wonderful time to just you know do something different if you're tired of playing tennis pickleball may be for you if you're tired of playing racquetball this may be the sport for you and i think you can incorporate family friends whomever with this particular sport so dooney is on it y'all they are on it and as I like to always think, they are just, they continue to go through and go by doing things, handling things at their own pace. Um, I don't think they really feel pressured to um, release the bags that we think they should. What's the most popular bag at the time? Uh, they just go about things at their own pace. And I just, I roll with it because I tend to do that myself in my life. I'm not just going to 
be bullied in or you know doing the typical normal stuff one thing i want to also share and this is why i really became fascinated with this satchel because i noticed this on qvc and so now we're seeing this is the first time um the first place that i witnessed that this particular satchel is in existence um their different take on it so it's not the zip zip and the measurements are here 10 and a half inches wide nine inches high and six inches in depth so that gives you a pretty good idea as to what those measurements are and i'm just gonna put this in a the chat hopefully um anybody else who watches this can see the um the satchel and its dimensions i would definitely compare that have to compare that to some of the other frequent satchels that we custom to i'm just gonna put satchel and we'll go from there so QVC at least has this. So that's when I became attracted to this particular silhouette. I was like, hmm, this is really, really different. And you all can definitely visit QVC to learn more about their um, review of this. And if you like this particular silhouette, I think it's just cute. I really do. And they have a lot of colors still. I don't think a lot of people know about this one, but I will be sharing this information um, on my LTK app. So if you have not downloaded that, go ahead and download it because I tell you it will be worth your while. They also have dropped the Wexford and they've, du they've dubbed this particular silhouette the Buffy. So I'm really questioning why. <laughs> Maybe because it's not the Dylan, because it doesn't have that Dylan leather or the the plate. So maybe that's why they are dubbing it as the Buffy. But I do love this silhouette. And it's currently on sale on QVC for $152.98. So you may want to venture on over and get this little cutie. Especially if it's one that um a bag that you would like to get. You know, your scholarly loved one, your little girl that's doing well and something cute for her to carry, that'll be great. They do have that satchel in the Art Deco, only in the white background, currently on sale over at QVC for $197.98. So if you really wanted this particular silhouette, they don't have it in the black. Hopefully they'll be bringing it back. Uh, but they do have it in the white. Visit QVC Ford. I don't know, and it'll be good to know if they have this silhouette in the outlet. I wish uh, Mushroom and Grass was in. She could tell us because she's been frequently going to the outlet store and um, in her area. But I would love to know if they have that. And I think Anita's favorite has also shared that the uh, Art Deco is in the outlet store. So I wonder if all of the silhouettes are in the store. Uh, let's see another bag that sticks out. I doubt that. I think this one was already sold. I don't know why they haven't taken that out because if whoever got this bag, I don't know what was wrong with it for it to be returned, but whoever got this bag for $13 and 49 cents, <laughs> they got a true steal, like an absolute steal. So I don't know who who got that? I wish they were on YouTube so I could talk to them. Like, how did you get that? Um, the bet, the not the Betsy, the Bitsy Wexford is has made a reappearance and is currently on QVC. So if you love the small satchel and you want something really cute, go over, go over to QVC. They have it. That sale price is $224.98. That olive is a beautiful color in that Wexford. Little Bitsy. Uh, let's see. Some other things that stand out. This is a bag that I really want, but the price doesn't want me. <laughs> I 
The Price Does Not Want Me. This is an archive favorite that was brought back. And it still sits over here. It looks like they have sold some. They they no longer have the natural. And that's the color that I was uh, gravitating towards. Um, elephant, chestnut, and black black is what remains. But this bag is, to me, a smaller version of the Weekender. Still a nice size bag. Uh, what are the dimensions? 12 and a half in length, 15 width, and six and a half in depth. That is a nice size bag. Let's see. Uh, recently, Phoebe's Corner, um, she got the Greta Janine. You can head over to her channel to uh, see her reveal of this bag. This was on Dooney.com, I believe, and I love Dooney maybe a year ago and I just was not interested in getting it for some reason and now I see it in the pink and I wish I had gotten it I don't know I was just fixated on some other things um I think this is a nice cute of course at the time when you had the um what Louis Vuitton and their what is it is it called the market tote or you're thinking that or you could think about Mark Jacobs tote Dooney did their spin with producing this and calling it the Janine Tote. Look at that fuchsia. It is so pretty. Um, I probably would have gotten this bag in that color versus the navy. Or I probably will get both. <laughs> but it is over there um, at QVC. And so this is what I do. I play between, between the various sites. Here, you do have the Plumeria bag the barrel over here you don't have it over on the dooney.com site but it is here so if you really are liking well let me make sure i said that correctly i don't think they do have it over there they did at one point when it first came out and it then the color left but they have these three beautiful colors pink and green sky blue and white and of course the white love it love it love it um 272.98. I can definitely say, well, yeah, that's a good price. They say save 16%. Of course, we over here we like to see 30, 40, 50, 70 percent off um, before we get anything. But I think this is just a beautiful bag, the beautiful silhouette of the plumeria um flower. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What are some other items that I think stick out over here? that you may not have seen on Dooney.com, neither I love Dooney sites. Uh, the Charleston has made a return. I posted that, I believe, in my community tab as well as LTK app. Um, if you are a lover of the Charleston, yeah, it's back with a lot of colors, a lot of color. And look at the um, luggage tag on there and how it has the gold lettering on of the Dooney and Burke's name on that bag really really nice 209 no 206.98 is the price point let's see some other bags the zebra leather is still is out there uh hound's tooth is still out there as well um this may be it I think the rest of these you definitely can find on one of the sites, um, the lovely Safari Crossbody. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, this is another one that I I really would like to have in my collection. And it still is prevalent here. And I want it in the olive. And that is the Shine I don't know how they pronounce it. It could be Shine, Shina, Shana, could be Shay, because that's my first name, y'all. And to see it spelled with an I, it definitely could be pronounced as such. Um, but I do like the steel blue. Um, the espresso is beautiful. The cognac, cognac is really nice. And the Bordeaux, $362.98. Um, I like it because it looks as if you can really carry it on your shoulder because of the way that the strap drop or the handle is on there. Very, very nice bag. I think it's a wonderful um, domed book, oh, not book, a domed look. 
uh yeah it's a domed satchel in itself and it's in denison nice size bag nice size bag but i think that is it for qvc um you all head over there if there's anything you got questions about i want the christian tote they did bring that one back, but I want it in some other colors. And they may still have the um, Buckley on here as well, which is something that I've looked at several times. But, and the Smith shoulder bag, they have it in the pebble leather. Let me get off of here because that, going on QVC and seeing these bags that um, I haven't seen elsewhere, it is, whew, it's, it can be overwhelming. So you're thinking about all of that and then the new stuff, it's like, okay, okay, okay. What do I do? What do I do? And so I start out with like 20 bags. Then I have to narrow it down to one. <laughs> it's a lot. And I haven't even gone to eBay to see what's on there. You know, um, and still there's some people that's trying to make room. So you may see an influx of bags being uh, sold on Poshmark. Macari and on eBay and wherever else you may go and get secondhand delights from. Um, it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. So y'all let me know what y'all see out there because, mm, but I'm loving these drops. I am going to figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy what I have. And I love this bag a lot. So thank you all for coming in. I got to do some homework. <laughs> I really need to do some homework, um, school homework, that is. And thank you all for coming in. And I will be back live Sunday with my special guest, y'all. Do y'all want to know who it is? Stay tuned to the community tab. I'll drop out that information soon. So y'all have a wonderful evening and stay safe, y'all. Stay safe. Bye.